Leaders of the Summer Olympics are trying to calm the growing fears about the Zika virus, reminding travelers that mosquito season will be dying out by the start of the games. And for one local athlete, the chance to win a gold medal outweighs any of those concerns. WBZ's Julie Lonchak is live along the Charles tonight. Julie, this is her second time competing at the games. It's her second time, and believe you me, becoming an Olympic athlete is truly a full-time job. In fact, Jebby Stone probably can't even count the number of hours she spent out here on the Charles, which is why even with the threat of Zekas, she tells me she's only focused on the competition. It's a full-time job. I am exercising, literally just rowing, between 20 and 25 hours a week. At 30, Jevy Stone has spent half her life on the water. It's a 5 a.m. wake up, it's a 9 p.m. bedtime um, with some napping in between and a lot of calories and it's a different way of life, but I definitely love it. She should because she's really, really good. It's fun to win. In July, the Newton native heads to the Summer Games in Rio, her second Olympics. It really is a sport that rewards hard work and that's pretty special. She's expected to rank second in the women's single going into the games, and she might just take home a medal. Stone feels the pressure and admits she can't ignore the mounting concerns over the Zika virus because Jevy Stone is also a doctor. My focus now is definitely on rowing, and I am no infectious disease specialist, so I am relying on the experts. I try to focus on what I can control, which is practice every day. Stone recently graduated from Tufts Medical and will focus on her residency after the Olympics, which will mean an end to her professional rowing career, one that has shaped her life and her humility. Aim high and work hard, and don't forget to have fun along the way. So Jevy's father, Greg, is actually her coach, and by the way, her mother competed in the Olympics in 1976. We're live in Cambridge. Julie Lonchak, WBZ News. Lisa, back to you. Great family history, Julie.